The next thing we'll do is show you how to forward a call. Let's say you're not at your desk and you want someone to cover for you. We'll pretend we're Kim today and we want to forward over to Bill. So what we'll do is we'll press the forward button on Kim's phone and then we will press status and then details and then the destination needs to be set. So what we'll do is we'll press the destination and then type in Bill's extension, which is 202. And then press select. And now we look at the whole thing and it says forward unconditional is on. And the hunt group is non-group. So if something comes into your call, uh, into your if something comes into your phone uh, and somebody dials your extension directly, it's going to go to Bill and then we need to save it. So now we can see it says forward unconditional to Bill Merle. You can exit and you notice the forward light is on and there is a D in the display that says it is diverted. That's why they have a D, it's for diverted over to Bill's phone. So now if I were to call 201, you'll notice that Bill's phone will light up. So you can see that it's coming in to John Adams, but I actually dialed 201. Now if I were to answer it here, we can talk to the person that called. And that's how you forward a phone. If you want to hang up the forwarded call, if, if you'd like to stop the forward, all you need to do is turn off the forward light. You notice the D will go away and the green forward light will go out. Now once you've put in a destination for where you want your calls to forward, it'll be locked in there. So if we press forward and go to status and then details, you'll notice that the destination is Bill Merle. You can also change that by highlighting it, clearing it, and putting in a new destination. Let's try a different one. 203, for example and press select. So now it's going to John's phone instead of Bill's phone. We can save it and exit. So now we're being forwarded over to a different phone. Status will tell you exactly what's happening, being forwarded to John Adams. If we want to turn it off, we can press this, then notice your green light went off as well. So that's how we forward a call. If you wanted to forward to your cell phone, when you press the forward button or status, do details, then you could change the destination to first clear it and then enter 9, 1, and the rest of your number, and then it will forward to your cell phone, whatever that might be. It's a good idea to put in the whole 10 digits, 1, and the rest of the number, area code included. Clear, cancel, and then back. Exit. Our forwarding is on, we really want it off, we'll turn it off that way. The D goes away and your forward light goes out. The next two features we'll be going over are the mute and the do not disturb key. Let's say you're making a call. And you're on the phone. And then you go to speakerphone for instance. Now you're on a live call with the speaker talking to another person. Let's say you wanted to say something to somebody else in your room and you did not want the other caller to hear what you're talking about. You can press the mute key and now your microphone or your handset is muted and they cannot hear what you're saying at your phone. You notice the red light will go on and then to turn it back on so your microphone is working again you press it again and now you can talk to your party on the phone. The microphone is here and of course that's the speaker for the handset. You can hang up the call. The next thing we'll talk about is the do not disturb button, also a privacy feature. Let's say that you're in a meeting and you do not wish your phone to ring, even for paging. You press your do not disturb light, the green light will come on. So if someone were to call you right now, We'll dial 201 from another phone. They'll hear the ringing. And then it will be picked up and they'll get your voicemail immediately. The task of Kim Williams. Please leave me a message. 
Well, we're not going to leave Kim a message right now, but if we did, her voicemail light will come on and she'll get the message that way. To turn it off, all we have to do is press the Do Not Disturb button again, and the green light will go out, and now when we call, calls will come in normally. Let's talk a little bit about screens and buttons and program keys. These are your hard-coded buttons on here. They're pretty much the same on all the phones, including the smaller 9504 phone. This is the 9508. There are also feature key buttons, which are programmed in here. And there's actually a second page of these buttons, so you can actually have three screens of these buttons. We'll scroll over to the right, and you'll see that we have some other screens, and that one's blank. And then we scroll back, and we're back at the beginning, so it's like a rotation. This particular phone also has multiple pages, because it only has four that can be displayed at any time. That's why it's called a 9504, and this can display eight at a time. That's why it's a 9508. Now, if we scroll through this, we can see pretty much the same buttons that are on this one, but they're on different pages. Same thing. We still able to fit, we're still able to fit all the buttons, but less on each page. So you do have to either scroll that way, or you can scroll down also. Your choice. This goes a whole page at a time. So, one thing I'd like to note is that most people use the second page for features they don't use as much as others. Like, this is actually called a, uh, a user appearance. So when someone were to go offline, off hook, you can actually see that the light would blink next to their name so an operator or somebody else can know if somebody in their office is on the phone or not. It also doubles as a quick way to call that person. So now they're still on their speaker. Let's, let's turn it off. There we go. So now if we wanted to call them, we'll go off hook. We can see their light goes on. They hang up. And the light goes out. If we wanted to call them, once we, the light isn't blinking anymore, we just press the button. And it's a way to speed dial over there. Okay? This phone also has buttons like the other one does for answer, the voicemail button, ignore, and drop. This phone can also show you the status of other phones. We'll take Kim offline, and you'll notice her red light goes on, just like the other one. Hang up. Red light goes out. We can call her directly, or we can call someone else directly. doesn't really matter. Okay.